In this video, I'll show you how to set up your HP DeskJet 3755 with your Mac computer. And I will also show you how to print and how to scan. So let's get started right away. All you have to do is to take two fingers and you're going to press with on the Wi-Fi button here and on the X symbol here until the power button starts blinking. Once you see it blinks, you can release those two buttons. So let me do it with you. I'm pressing both at the same time. And now the power button is blinking. I don't know if you can see. This means that the printer is now in pairing mode and we need to go on the Mac computer. On the Mac, you need to download the HP Smart App. If you do not know how to do it, you just need to go on the App Store. Every Mac has the App Store installed. And in the search here, you just have to type HP Smart. One of the first app should be this one, HP Smart for desktop, and you need to download it. Next step is to go in the Wi-Fi settings of your Mac, select other networks. And from here, you should see your HP printer. So mine is over here, HP Setup 90 DeskJet 3700 series. Tap on it. Okay, great. On the app itself, you should see this banner appearing. We found a new printer, so let's get it set up and connected. Cle click here to start. You can go ahead and click, but what if you do not get this message? Well, you just have to tap on set up or add printer, and I will do this in case you do not see the banner. Once you're on this screen, you're going to select this lower option and your printer should appear in the list. So go ahead and click on it and it will be added on your first page over here. You can now ignore the banner if you ever see it after. So your printer is now connected to your Mac. It was very simple, but how should you print? Well, you're gonna open the file you want to print on your Mac, the same way you're doing it every time, just to take a look at it. From this page, you're gonna go in File, and then you're gonna go down until you see print and click on it. Here, the first option, you should select your HP printer, HP DeskJet 3700 series. Then you will have a few options. You can select if you want your print to be in black and white, how many copies, the usual stuff. One thing that is very important is you see where it says preview over here and select media and quality. If you're going to print pictures on glossy paper, you absolutely need to go over here and select photo glossy paper. If you do not do this, your picture will smear, the ink will smear, because the printer won't know that you want to print on glossy paper. So this is just a small uh, change you need to do in case you're printing on glossy paper. If not, just leave it on auto select and everything will be great. Now, before pressing the print button, we need to make sure that the printer has some paper inserted and that the paper tray over here is extended. So after doing this, we can press the print button. Now, let me show you how to scan. Okay, so go back on the main screen of the HP Smart App and from here you see there's a small button over here called Printer Scan. Tap on it. Take the document you want to scan and place it with the face pointing up. Then we need to glide it through this slit over here. And when you do this, the printer will try to grasp the paper. Let me demonstrate. So I'll bring it closer. And I don't know if you hear, the printer made a small uh, sound. It's because there are some rollers under this plastic piece that will try to grab the paper. And if it does not grab the paper properly, it will not be able to scan. Like right now, the paper is still loose. So if it didn't work from the first time, just do it again. So align the paper, put it all the way to the right until it touches this small plastic piece and bring it again inside. Okay, I think the printer actually grabbed it because if I'm trying to move the paper this way, it seems that uh, it's stuck there. Okay, that's perfect. Now let's get on the app. 
Now before pressing scan, you can actually modify some settings. If you go up over here, you can change the page size in case you're not scanning some letter size paper. You can change the resolution. You can change the resolution and the color if you want a black and white or color scan. And when you're done, just press scan. You don't have to touch anything. The printer does everything automatically. And on the Mac, you're going to see the preview of your scan. You can simply drag these corners in case you're not satisfied with the way the um, software cropped your scan. And once you're done, going to press the next button. Finally, here you can actually print what you just scan or you can save it. In my case, I want to save it, so I'll press save and you can rename the scan uh, the scanned file so let's say test Oop, test okay and now we can select also which kind of file we want so for text i guess you're going to select pdf and it's by default selected pdf if you're scanning some artwork some pictures you better go with jpeg the other one are a bit less used then you can select the file size and I just uh, leave it to actual. You can make the file smaller in case you want to send it by email and the file is too big, but it's rarely the case with these scans. So just leave it actual. Finally, press continue and you'll be directed on the finder window over here where you can save it in the folder that you prefer on your Mac computer. Just press save and you're done. So I hope this tutorial was helpful. If so, please leave a like, subscribe, comment down below and I'll see you in the next video.